Hello beautiful people, it's your boy PC Dre aka the Lyrical Lancer Store and I am standing in for Writomatics. Now, this is a very important issue that we need to you know talk about. It's about the recent explosion, so they said, uh, in Khan State. This came shortly after there was, you know, uh, 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 a killing uh, by some Muslim fanatics of Deborah in Sokoto State. Days after, there was an explosion. And we saw gory videos of children that were blooded all over, which means the explosion affected, you know, literally affected the school premises. Now, there is a video that I will play of uh, uh, the Kano State head of uh, emergency, you know, SEMA, uh, uh, emergency uh, uh, agency in Kano State. He came on live television to say that there was no explosion in the school but that the explosion was the the epicenter of the explosion was at a welder shop and you know what the welder shop was not affected in any way it's still standing but the school went down i am still trying to understand how is that possible the possibility of this is 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 i don't know is sketchy we saw with our eyes children that we are blooded. Nine people died. And for now, we cannot even tell if, you know, it's just nine people that died. Nine people died so far. And this man is telling us that it was a gas explosion from a welder shop. And the welder shop that had the gas is still standing. No effect whatsoever. But children were there. I, I mean, I think... The best, in Nigeria, let me tell you this, the best people to get information from is those that are eyewitnesses. And from eyewitnesses, they, they were calling that explosion a bomb. We have had a series of uh, 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 explosions of gas cylinder. I mean, if it was really an accident, trust me. The buildings will still stand, but this one, they went down. The Nigerian authority are not telling us the truth. The, the Kano State authority, they are not telling us the truth. From all indication, it was not an accident. It was premeditated. It was an attack. But they are trying to downplay this to make you all see it was, you know, an accident. Okay, imagine this man. On air, one of the journalists, one of the presenters, we, we asked him a question. He said somebody sent a text message asking if that was an accident that happened at the welder shop. Why is it that the welder shop is standing, but it affected the school and children, you, you know, all that. Do you know what this man said? He said, eh, let, this, let us now even assume that it was a bomb blast. That it was a bomb. That it has happened. Why? Uh, why? He, he According to him, he said, why Why are people still saying or insisting it is a bomb? Even if it's a bomb, why are they still insisting it's a bomb? Hello? It is your duty to tell the people the truth. If you are not fit for that position, why, why, if it was not politics, that man, that man shouldn't be in that position because he does not know what he's saying. He does not know what he's talking about. And then he came up on national television, on air, it is on Arise TV, to, to say that rubbish. And even, uh, even if it's a bomb blast, even if it's a bomb, uh, it has happened, it has happened. It is the, it is, it is, it is the will of God that, uh, or it's a miracle that the world has survived and the children got affected. 
the welder shop is not in the school premises the welder shop is just opposite the school premises how come there was a blast and then it was the school premises that according to an eyewitness one video that i watched the eyewitness said a, a, a vehicle drove in and immediately the vehicle drove in just by the school the explosion happened i think the Kano state government has to do more investigation on this matter it is it is glaring and let me tell you nigerians we are our own problems we complain too much yes it is not bad to complain but then when we complain and then we leave it at that the reason why we are having leadership problem in nigeria is because we have bad followership we tend not to hold these people accountable for their actions and when that happens it becomes a problem now watch this video and tell me what you think and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our pages and youtube channel thank you very much but something happened in the school so maybe no, the, sir, the person sir, that sir let's get this right something happened in the school i told you there's nothing no, happened in that school no can, can we get this right there's nothing happened in that school can, i was there okay. i was there hang, hang i was there hang myself on, hang on a minute i'm sir. not tall i was there physically hang on a minute yes sir. Well, we saw pictures of stood of pupils that were blooded from the school that means something happened but the welder shop that you said the bomb no, definite, came, definitely definitely no, no, hang on a minute let me speak sir please i beg you sir we just want to get to the end of this. Okay, okay. The okay. welder's place that you said the gas explosion happened, nothing happened to the welder. Yes. But the students, there were pictures of students that were blooded. So how did that come about? The epicenter of the explosion, which is the welder's place, nothing happened to the welder. But the students in the school opposite were blooded. How come that happened? I, 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 as I'm talking to you, I'm done, I'm, I'm, I cannot say a single person that was blooded in that school. And I was in that, I was in the front of that school opposite to the, to, to, to the scene of the incident. So I, I cannot, I cannot say so no, no whether the affected. explosion hit, hit the world or not. That's the work of God. So I, uh, that's the work of God. You see, you can you can see uh, uh, you can have a motor accident, and uh, but the the whole people may die. One one can escape, wow. and can escape without a, a single wound. So so that that is not a, that is not an excuse. God can do miracle. God can save that man. Well, Doctor Julie, just just calm down. We're not uh, it, we're, we're not harassing you. Just take it easy. Now I need you. To yeah. tell us. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I'm normal. I'm normal. Yeah, just, I'm, no, I'm, norm, I'm normal. Uh, yes. I need you to calm down. Don't worry. We just want to get the truth for the benefit of the Nigerian public. Now, uh, but, are there but, safety... uh, but, uh, but why, why insisting that it must? No, we are not. It must be we are not, a bomb blast. No, we are when, 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 when we when we at the scene are telling you exactly what, and you are you are only acting on no, those no, 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 that no. come upon you. No, we are not insisting on anything. We yes. just want clarity. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Let me ask. Uh, okay. You, okay. What, as a man in charge of emergency, uh, you know, uh, response and all of that in Kano State, I guess yes. your colleagues in other states face yes. uh, the same. Uh, uh, challenge when crisis occurs when there's an emergency yeah. you guys are someone to come and help uh you know rescue whatever you can still rescue but in kano state have there specific right. rules yes. with regard to safety a building code that is functional because we're talking about a weather shop let's even go with that using gas you know having gas cylinder in a yes. residential area in front yes. of a school and then this accident occurs so what are the safety regulations yes. in place you know with regard to where people can toy around with inflammable materials uh not just in the canal but you know it happens after all in lagos there was a similar incident sometime early last year uh, we have had the petrol stations also yes, uh, yes. exploding mm -hmm. in the residential neighborhoods what are your thoughts about these safety considerations Yes. And do you think there is an omission in this particular case in that regard? 
You see, it is is a problem of we Nigerian. We don't follow rules and regulations. When you try to enforce it, they politicize it. You see, this is our problem. Otherwise, we have agencies that take care of rules and regulation in, in terms of uh, safety. We have uh, the, the uh, like in, here in Kano, we have uh, uh, Kano State uh, uh, Agency for, the, uh, for, for Control Development, and we have uh, Fire Service, we have the SEMA, but people are they don't even they don't even uh, allow you to do the, your job when you, you try to enforce it they, they politicize it but all the same we make sure that uh, the safety uh, uh, measures were taken in any in any building so that such if issue if it's come we can quickly rescue people from that instance right. and you know it so we are doing we are doing our best so that's why we, yesterday when we went we have been busy trying to rescue people uh, those who are wounded we are, uh, they are being taken to hospital very hospital here in kano we are doing it nema are doing it the nigeria red cross and the rest of uh, rescue team of, uh, of disaster management here in kano dr Gilly, somebody just sent in a text message yes sir and the person who shall remain nameless yes. He said, but the weather shop is still standing. It was not affected. Why is he saying the explosion happened in the weather shop? People, people can say anything because people want to be negative thinking. I don't know. When, if it is, let, let's assume it is a uh, 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 bomb blast and it already happened. What, what is the interest there? Why the people insist that it must be a, a bomb blast? What, what, what is the benefit there? What is ha what had happened had already happened. People has uh, those who has gone has gone. Those who are wounded were wounded. And then it, whether it is a gas explosion, whether it's bomb blast, wh wh what is the interest of the general public? Why why, why people are I uh, uh, want to shift this issue to bomb blast? What what is the benefit do we have? We were saying the right thing, that it's not a bomb blast, it is, it is a gas operation. Is there any benefit that people would drive from bomb blast if it is, if it is, the, if it is the one that happened? So we, were, we, we are saying the right thing, we are saying what exactly happened. Why is it that people are saying bomb blast? If it is bomb blast, what, what benefit will they gain from that issue? So, but oh, oh, whether it's bomb blast, whether it's a, a, a gas explosion, as we, as, uh, as we observe, the government will not leave this issue like that. I am sure a strong investigation team, a committee, will, will find out what, had hap what, what, what happened to that. Uh, how does it happen? So people should rest. People should, be, uh, should cool their mind. Uh, government is very much concerned. Governor, uh, His Excellency, before he went there, he sent the, his deputy, uh, including Masal, and the head of service, and the rest of government officials, to go and, uh, and assess the situation. Before we were there, uh, uh, Lord, uh, 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 disaster managers were also there, like Neymar, uh, police, uh, Nigerian Army, Nigerian Air Force, Red Cross, and Thank the rest you, were all there. Thank you, sir. As we wrap up, sir, I just want uh, to know. Uh, 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 Thank you, uh, sir. I'd just like to know the status of yes. the school, the primary school. When would it be safe for children to return to school? And were the primary school children amongst the fatalities or the injured survivors of the explosion? You, please repeat your question, please. I am asking about the status of the primary school in the vicinity. When will it be safe for the children to return to school? And were the primary school children amongst the fatalities or the survivors, the injured survivors of the explosion? I, I, don't, I don't record any casualty in the, in the, in the school. But the, the school can, can still be open today because, as I saw it, there's nothing wrong with the school. There's nothing wrong, there's no thing that, that will damage the school at all. So the school can be open to any time. Sir, uh, but they keep saying that the school was damaged. So um, people on ground out of Kano that reached out to us say the school was damaged. Uh, 
and you can see the students. Uh, if and I, I will revisit, no, I will revisit, I will, I will, I will revisit. Hang on a minute, sir. And I want to ask you this. Just calm it down. We mm. just want the best for Kano. It will be well with Kano. If nothing happened to the school, we are watching videos of him now. Then why were the pupils on the streets running for their dear lives crying? Why? And if nothing happened to the school, and people say that the school was damaged, so are you saying that nothing, it, it, the building is intact for the school now? You see, you see, you see, you, you see, you see, when, happen, when something happened like this, with your children around, all you will assume something may likely happen to your children. Because it has taken time when people have not heard about this kind of uh, class approaching as people translate it as a bomb blast. It has taken time. In Kano, we have not had anything like this for the past two or three years since uh, the issue of uh, Boko Haram. So if it happened like this and your children is close to that school, definitely, as a father, as a mother, as a sister, as a brother, you may think you have ch your children may be affected by that issue. So when you cry, when you cry and get your children back, I don't think that it's, a, it's not a big deal there. But the issue is the children, the, the school is not affected. As, At all. As per my observation of yesterday. But maybe, yes, you know, it's very close to the, to the scene. So, uh, uh, as I told you, we are going back there today. And I reassess, I reassess the situation. Because yesterday, we are busy trying to rescue those who are inside the, the building that collapsed. So, we are busy trying to rescue. Because when you are trying to rescue, you don't, you, you, you don't limit yourself to the, to, the, uh, to the damages first. You are trying to save life. <clears throat> okay. So, that, that's our first mission. To save life. So by, by today, we can be able to assess the extent of damages, whether the school is affected or not. Okay. But okay. as I saw it yesterday, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing happened to that school as my, uh, as my, because we, st we stood tr uh, very close to the school building where the, the, uh, the deputy governor addressed the press. Well, Dr. Gilly, well, certainly, uh, you have a very tough job. But we are just hoping mm -hmm. that the investigations uh, that all the agencies and the state government have talked about will reveal the truth because the people have the right to know. And it's unfortunate that people have died. You see, the people have the, yes, people have the right to say what they, they, uh, they, they perceive or they assume. But we, the government, will tell the people what exactly happened. Well, so we, we are telling the, the government... The, the, eh? Yes. Hello, sir. No, go ahead. Please con con conclude your thoughts. I say, we, 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 our responsibility is to tell the general public what exactly happened. And the so, people, you see, we do, not, we do not hide how many people... We do not hide what peop, how many people died. We do not hide what, how many people were injured. Why should we, why should we hide what causes... The, 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 the problem. What should we do? What is our benefit there? So, if it is bomb blast, we have to take measures. If it is a gas explosion, we have to take measures. So, this is exactly what we are trying to do the public. So, when you said uh, uh, bomb blast, okay, it's not, it's not about to happen. It already happened. So, if the issue is how do we prevent it to happen again? Okay. Thank so you. we're not saying what we want. But thank they're saying, you. but uh, but we're, we're, all we're trying to tell, all we're trying to tell the general public is, it's not a bomb bless. Let people understand that. But if you understand it as bomb bless, it's your own problem. Well, thank you. But Dr. as far Gilly. as government is concerned, thank you, Doctor Jilly. The people just need to know the truth. We don't have a problem. We just want to know.